Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Maulidina Aisha, and I'm English student at Faculty of Humanities in Universitas Komputer Indonesia. Today, I'm going to talk about behind the scenes of microblogging in brief. It'll be much about content strategy, content writing, and graphic designing. All those topics are going to be presented in about seven minutes and organized as follows. First, I'm going to uh, explain what's in content strategy. Then we will move on to how to create content writing. And finally, uh, how to create the visual content. And if you have any question, please feel free, feel free to ask to share it at the end of my presentation. So do you know anyone who doesn't have any social media accounts? I'm pretty sure most of us have, especially at the age of 20s, have at least one social media account and we use it frequently. And everyone knows about, um, everyone knows social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and another dozens of social media platform. At least, at least one person has 8.4 social media accounts in 2020. Also in the same year, the social media users reach up to 3.6 billion users worldwide. And that is such a big, big number. As the digital industries grow uh, super rapidly, marketing activities are also shifting from conventional marketing to digital marketing. <clears throat> Companies are using digital marketing to get a closer look to their target audience and also to engage with them. And this is where microblogging as the small version of uh, blogging and part of social media marketing plays its important roles. If you notice, microblogging has been around uh, since 2016 uh, and got into its peak in 2018. Job roles such as content creator, content writer, content editor, and copywriter are found in numerous job vacancies. And, and this is because microblogging is the way to engage deeper with the target audience and it also to build brand awareness and attract buyers. However, Microblogging is not really about writing, designing, and publish it on social media. First, we need to look at the content strategy. Content strategy is basic, basically about the strategy on creating content which are relevant with the business goals. So before we start um, creating content strategy, we need to find out the, first about the business goals, and then the content strategy will follow. In the content strategy, we need to know about the buyer persona. By personal allows you to know exactly who is your target audience in terms of their age, occupation, gender, and their preferred social media channels. A very quick and simple by your personal will look like this. There are subject, purpose, and audience. And this is, and the audience is where the buyer persona is. Uh, in this example, the buyer persona is high school students aged between 14 to 18 and they, they study in Bandu, and they also use Instagram. After that, you will know what kind of text, choice of words, uh, tone and mood, and visual brand identity that fit to your uh, target audience. And most importantly, we need to decide this content pillar. Content pillar holds broader topics and themes that act as the foundation for more specific topics for your content. And basically, there are five um, types of content pillar. They are promotional, educational, community, entertainment, and engagement. From the content pillar, we can brainstorm the specific uh, topics that are relevant for your um, content pillar objectives. Right now, we are on content writing. Content writing needs to align with the platform's characters and also the content pillar objectives. For example, Instagram. Instagram is a visual-based social network with the most popular feature is story. The user's age range from 13 to 65 with the highest percentage is 31.2% for 25 and 25 to 34. So with this in mind, we can create types of content with powerful headline and in the form of carousel, with a semi-formal tone of voice. A very common technique in writing is AIDA. It stands for attention, interest, desire, and action. And this is the example of a content that use 
uh, idea as their uh, writing technique. Six, uh, six simple way to upgrade yourself in 2022. This is a powerful, this is um, a powerful uh, headline because they use number. And this number can attract um, reader, it can, can attract your audience to read uh, the content. And then we have interest. Interest is to make them interested in your product or service by showing the benefits of values, features, or other or other things that become your um, positive, that become your unique selling point of the product or service that you offer. And then we have desire to make them do what your goals are. For example, uh, buy the product, click the link, visit the website, or something else. After that is action. Action is asking them to buy or do something for, for example, like this one. This is the call to action for the reader to share their uh, opinions on the comment section. Now we're going to graphic designing. If you have graphic designing skill, that's really good. But if you don't, don't worry because there are easy tools. There's easy tools such as Canva for making design for making design for your content. Or you can also learn designing using Corel Draw, Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, and Avenity Designer, and others. Before start designing your content, you need to first know about the brand identity, which consists of logo, typeface, color palettes, pattern, watermarks, and others. And this is the example of how your content will look like if you have brand identity. We can see that the color palette is consistent as well as uh, the, the typeface, the headline is clear, the headline is clear. And in this content, they have specific illustration that they use consistently. And brand identity also make our audience can identify and distinguish our brand. Our brand. It also helps our visual content to be consistent and eye-pleasing. So that leads to the end of my presentation today. Either, either blogging or microblogging is a great start for those who wants to join the, the digital industries, especially in the creative marketing department. It is self-learning and prestigious for the many years ahead. We can easily find the learning materials and it's free on the internet. Remote jobs are, is uh, absolutely possible. And I personally love microblogging because it's highly relevant with the digital industries. It's part of digital marketing and also part of uh, in-demand skill for the current and future industries. So if you are interested in diving deeper in microblogging, I highly recommend you to start and you, you to start making your portfolio and take free online course on the internet or simply observe how big and small brands use uh, microblogging as their marketing strategy. So that will be the end of my presentation today. Thank you for all, for the input, for the attention.